What's up, IG? Okay, so it's Black History Month, right? And at school, we have our students doing some type of hairstyle that represents a woman from history, from the past. Any woman that they want to represent. It could be Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Mary J. Blige. Um, it doesn't have to be far back in history. It could be any woman that, rep any black woman rather, that represents some type of history. And like I said, it can go as far back as Harriet Tubman and as early as Mary J. Blige. And so they were told that they have an option to come in and they can dress up like their person that they're inspired by. So I decided that I'm going to do a little something. I just put on a little headpiece, took out my little curls. I don't know. I think I'm looking like a woman from like the 20s and maybe the 30s or something like that. And, you know, back during like slavery time, the women, they wore what you call tignons. Now, it's a headpiece that they wore and the slave masters made them wear it to basically degrade them. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm not sure. I don't think this is actually a tignon. However, it is a kind of like old fashioned type of headpiece or whatever. So I decided to put this headpiece on. My outfit, of course, is not from history or like, you know, dating back in time or anything like that. But the headpiece, I thought this would be a nice little accent. The students don't know that I'm doing this. So when I go in today, they're going to be pleasantly surprised. And hopefully they'll come in dressed up some kind of way as well. But this is the whole fit. I don't have my shoes on yet. This is the way that the headpiece looks in the back. <laughs> I hope you guys were able to see that. But anyway, happy Black History Month. Bye.